I think it's really important to discover healthy hobbies. And as humans, we're naturally creative, nurturing, outward thinking beings. It's very easy to be an inward thinking person and, and just take, but I find that the more effort that I put into skills and hobbies with an outward mindset is hugely healing for myself and for my community. And a lot of those connections are made through the efforts that I put into learning skills like keeping plants alive and learning to paint. My favorite medium is watercolor. The fun thing about watercolor is that it can be as technical or as loose and free as you want it to be. And even if the painting doesn't come out as something stupendous that people want to buy or look at, it's still been a fantastic process for myself. So I have two inspirations that are really big for me. One is growing up in Tucson, living in Tucson. The, the cacti in the desert are really incredibly beautiful and there's just so much to see and learn from them and to imitate. The other is my really intense experience with postpartum depression, which I use my art a lot to open that conversation and talk about that because I feel like people don't and that it's a really important thing to talk about since I'm a, a loud person who's learned to move past the shame of mental illness and things like that. I like to use my talents and the mediums that I have available to me to do what I can to open that conversation for other people. So I created this um, deck of 52 affirmation cards. It's called Affirmations Moms Actually Need. The idea is, you know, we're, we're always given really stupid advice that's not helpful and it's all very cliche. But I created the deck to encourage mothers to give themselves grace in their imperfections, to give them permission to do what they feel like doing that day, not what society tells them they should be doing that day. Um, that motherhood doesn't have to look a certain way. And that for women and mothers who suffer with mental illness, that that's pretty normal. It's more normal than they think, and they absolutely should not be ashamed of it. And there's avenues to get help, and there's tools to help them thrive regardless. My inspiration from seeing cacti living in the desert is the way that they soak up the rain when it rains, so that they can survive the hottest and driest times of the year. It's dry and hot here more than it's beautiful and luscious and rainy, but they survive and they thrive. So I wanted to share that message with women that if you have a good day, soak that good day up, enjoy it. You can find ways to thrive if you allow those beautiful days that you have to energize yourself and then give yourself grace on the times that it's hard. And to take that message from the cacti of that survival that women and people with mental illness have the same capabilities. And it takes effort and it takes intention and it takes tools and it takes a lot of grace.